So, hello, and uh, as promised, I said I'd take apart a switch. Uh, this one I just use if I want to connect something, because I've at the moment I've just kind of run out of ports. So, this one just sits on the uh, crappy server rack, and I just connect up cables to it as and when I need to. This one's a uh, 3Com Super Stack. And it's actually got a um, SC fiber connector at the back, but I don't use that. I use something else for my uh, fiber cables. But to be able to get the top off, you have to take this out. So we'll take this out first. Also, not every single switch is like this one, uh, especially not the Netgear ones. They're a bit different. And they're more simple to undo actually, and a lot nicer to take apart compared to this one. So we'll just pull this out. Hopefully I can do it one hand. Come on. And okay, that's what the fibre uh, thing looks like. And then we just have to undo all of these clips and some uh, star screws down there. So I'm going to stop the video, undo everything, and then I'll be back. So here we go. I finally got the top off. Um, that is the worst one to ever undo. It's full of clips rather than just a few screws. You can see there, there's the ports, they just basically sit on top of a board, like that. Uh, a load of chips. Some of it is power supply there. You've got the connectors, and there's um, two fans just to keep it cool. And that's all there is to it, and there's all the LEDs. As I say, every switch is different. Um, that is just kind of gives you the general word. Ah, just press the off button. Yeah, so <laughs> that gives you a general idea what's inside a network switch. So, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and we'll probably start installing some operating systems. So, I'll see you guys then.